Um, we are now going somewhere completely different to Edinburgh at this time. I mean, for many, moving somewhere remote and living off grid can be a dream scenario, but very few actually make it a reality. Have a look at this. This is Flat Home, a beautiful but isolated island off the Welsh coast. It's home to Simon Parker and only Simon <laughs> Parker. Looking to change his life, he took on the job as the island's warden and the landlord of its only pub. I'm delighted to say that Simon joins us now. Simon, firstly, what made you take that job? Uh, so, I mean, it, it was it was kind of a, a last minute decision. I was thinking I wasn't too happy with my old job. I was kind of in a bit of a funk and I thought about going traveling, but I'd been here before as a volunteer and I knew how Cool this place was and I, I heard that they didn't have a warden and they were struggling to find one so I just thought I'd give it a go and and here I am I guess I've been here since March now so it's been great so far and it looks like a lovely place uh, to be spending a bank holiday I have to say uh, Simon just tell us exactly sort of where you are tell us about your surroundings tell us what's on flat home yeah so so flat home's a small island uh, it's only about a mile square it's in the Bristol Channel, so about four and a half miles from Cardiff. Um, it's run by Cardiff Council. Uh, it's, 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 quite, uh, it's quite wild. There's not much on here in terms of management. We leave it for nature as best we can, but we do have a lot of historic buildings on the island as well. It's been used for lots of different people throughout the years. Vikings have been here. There's been farming, there's been smugglers. All the usual island antics have gone on. And now I guess I'm just the latest in a long line of of strange people on a, on this island, I guess. Yeah, the warden there. What what does the warden do? So, <laughs> I mean, the the list of jobs is endless. I think it's quite hard to actually put a an actual title on all of it. I think last night I was running the pub for some guests. We had uh, two groups of visitors yesterday. We had a pilgrimage coming across, which was great. We had swimmers coming over who. Uh, did a crazy swim back to the mainland as part of a big event. We have tourists all the time. I've got all the wildlife conservation going on as well, surrounded the gulls on the island, slow worms, lots of different wildlife elements. And then I'm managing a group of volunteers now to help me out. It said, because there's just too much to do. There's too much to do. I need more help. So yeah, that's also always a bonus. The more volunteers, the better. And are you enjoying it? I mean, you talked about the fact you weren't happy in your life before you came here. What difference has it made to you, maybe to your mental health? I think it's simplifying life. I think that's the big, the big element of it is that I was caught up in kind of the whole, the rat race, I guess, and I wasn't really enjoying it. And I was looking for a more conscious way of living. And this, this uh, really appeals because I get to live off grid, which means that I'm being more conscious in terms of where I get my energy, where I get my water, things like that, which really appealed. And then the solitude, it, it's, it's something which I've had in the past, but this is different here. There's no, uh, there's no connection to the mainland. So I, I, I love that. I love that kind of element of being able to take time out and just focus on what really matters to you and spend some time just, just kind of, Taking a step back from, from the uh, craziness on the mainland sometimes is quite nice. Simon, just briefly, what, what's the best thing and what's the worst thing about it? Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's a really tough question, and my answer seems to change every time people ask it. Uh, I think, uh, honestly, the best thing is probably seeing the people come here and, and, and enjoy it. I think the more people that I've seen come over and, and just experience the island for their own unique thing, we have yoga retreats, we have scout groups so all of those groups can come and stay on the island and we have lots of events coming up for more people i love seeing the people enjoying it here so that's one of the best things the worst thing my first weekend on the island i had to unblock the toilets because somebody blocked the toilets and that was probably one of the lowest points of my life i'm not gonna lie it's it, and that's kind of one of the interesting things about being the warden is that you have to do everything here so uh, on the mainland, people will take your rubbish away, people will do your drains, do your gutters, but here, yeah, you just got to get your hands dirty and do everything. So sometimes it can be pretty grim, yeah. Simon, it's been a joy speaking to you, even with that dose of reality at the end. Uh, enjoy your nice, quiet, calm bank holiday. You can see more of Simon's life on Flat Home in One Man and His Island on BBC iPlayer now. That's it from us. Breakfast back at six tomorrow morning. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.